I see. Oh. One second. The whole town is deserted. Pay for everything here. What does that do? Maybe there's a generator somewhere around.
certain time right now, but I'll have a comprehensive list in the The description down below, and if there's any interest, let me know, and I'll make a full video with all of the known spawns. They should all be accessible from the top layer of the map. need to a minute is really useful once you jump into your game one of the first things you're going to want to do alongside the usual turning on all of the gas valves which are in the village square area of the map so that you can access the pilot light is look in the air around the rooftops for three spinning tops they're referred to in game as keepsakes and there'll be one red one one green one and one kind of yellowy orange one once you see one on a rooftop on a window ledge What's something a like that earthquake? shoot it it'll drop onto the floor you can run over to it and i'll show you some example locations on screen <laughs> list in the description down below and if there's interest let me know and I'll make a full video of all of the notes. They should all be accessible from the top layer of the map. or whatever you want to call it. What the hell?
Sorry, Marie. We'll find him, I promise. Clausen's friend, the allies you hope to escape with. You are too late. I caught the traitor just before you arrived. <laughs> Has a corresponding wheel because it will have that a bow, like for example, but it's too cold for flies. That represents. One of the three codices in order for this to be really easy. The more you find the merrier, obviously. These ghouls keep getting exactly stronger what you need fast. To do, but if you only need something one, better than bullets to stop them.
locations in the description down below for you to check if you can't find any at all. And again, if you need a video on this with all the locations shown explicitly, then just let me know. For this video, I'm going to work on the assumption that you've only been able to find one codex. That way, no matter to give you an idea of why I'm including the casual and main quest steps in this video, you can do all of this on pretty much round two. You don't have to have done anything else in order to complete this step, and so you might as well get it done right away in your game while you're killing zombies, getting points to open the bunker door and stuff like that. The casual quest steps that you need to do here are turning on the three valves. There's two in the village square and then one going towards the riverside. Hold square on those and then you'll be able to activate the pilot light. That'll blow a hole in the village square. You can then drop down the hole, go up the slope to the generator and turn that on. And then go up the slope even further, pop out into the village square again and open the bunker door. Then head down to the salt mine entrance and... To open that, you're going to need to activate the two doors on the left and right hand sides of the command room. Inside each of those rooms, you'll find a power switch and you're going to need to run over to one of the power switches, activate it, and then pretty quickly run over to the other one on the other side and using them for some of your Tesla upgrade steps. Because remember, you need to keep one of those bomb zombies at an entrance. You can go by the salt mine entrance then. And then at this point, rather than just running straight down to the Emperor's chamber, maybe consider trying to keep one of those bomb zombies alive and using them for some of your Tesla upgrade steps. Because remember, you need to blow open the locker in the laboratory by blowing up a bomby right next to it. And you also need to kill two bombies next to the battery once it's in its charger in the Pack-a-Punch room. Now, it might be a bit early in your game to do the one in the Pack-a-Punch room, but if you've already had a walking zombie with a club, a big bertha as I like to call them, and you've already managed to open that locker in the pap room, grab the battery and put it in the trap in there, then this could save you a huge amount of time trying to get bomb zombies to spawn in later in your game. It's just food for thought. Whatever you decide to do, you're then going to need to go down to the Emperor's chamber and have a look around and activate the Hilt of Barbarossa. That's going to then allow you to charge up the hilt using souls, kill zombies in there in the area of the red circle, and you'll then be good to go once your entire screen kind of goes red and the step's been completed. You'll then want to go up the slope and back into the command room, turn the crank in the middle of the room there so that the thing that you're going to be escorting process. To upgrade the Tesla gun, you need the Tesla gun. So, if you haven't built it already, I've got a guide for you to do exactly that in the top right-hand corner of the screen or the description of this video. Click through to that, build yourself the Tesla gun, and once that's complete, you'll be able to do your Tesla upgrade. To begin the upgrade process, we need to open a locker that is, surprise, surprise, locked in the sewers. It's actually in the Pack-a-Punch room itself, and you need to do so by using a club-armed zombie or a whistler or a Big Bertha or whatever the hell you call these things, George Romero, I don't know. Get one of the annoying bullet spawn zombies to come and charge you while you're in front of this locker just here. You can afford to take a hit from it. Don't take any more damage from any other zombies if you can possibly help it because then you will lose armor. But one swipe from this thing will not take any armor off you. It will just red health you and it will also slam in the exact right position you need to open the locker itself. Inside you'll find a battery and that battery can be placed in the nearby battery holder just by the trap switch in the entrance to this room. Now, this is where things get just so frustrating, okay? To charge the battery, what you need to do is bring two, that's minimum, two bomb zombies into this room and kill them using the trap while they are near the battery charger. Now, I have to stress, this will only work if you have a green light on the bottom of your battery holder and you'll probably have to do it a couple of times and because this is so frustrating and so finicky, you'll probably have to do it a bunch of times in order to actually successfully charge the batteries. It is not easy. In the current state of the game, they have to be really, really close to the battery charger in order for the light to go green and for the kills to count. I'm hoping that they'll make it a little bit more forgiving, but right now that's just not the way it is. So bring bomb zombies, which spawn randomly from around about, I'd say like round seven, eight onwards, I guess to this room if you have any spawn in be very careful not to blow them up by going too close to them and then try and walk them in front of the battery holder and as soon as they're about to go in front of the battery holder activate the trap the saw blades will then take a couple seconds to kill them and assuming you've managed to successfully do this you should get the kills near the holder charge the battery you can grab the battery out of the holder and walk it to the morgue 
Now then, I gotta note that before you go any further, you need to have completed the lightning rod defense process in the casual fireworks easter egg quest. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in the top right hand corner of the screen there's a link to a guide that I made to get you to that point, and further in fact, and it's also linked in the description down below. You can also obviously follow the in-game hints to get there, but I recommend the guide, I made the guide, I think it's pretty good, hopefully you think it's good as well. So follow that guide, finish the lightning rod defense part of it, and then you can come right back to this and you'll be able to place the battery that you have just charged in its new holder in the morgue itself, otherwise it won't be open. It's on the right hand side of the device that you've previously acquired a Tesla gun part from, so chuck the battery in there, and then as soon as you are ready to start a lockdown process, hold square on it again, a health bar will appear, and you'll need to defend it for maybe two minutes, something like that. To do this, I really recommend you pack a punch, there's a guide for that on my channel, top right hand corner of the screen, description as well, they're linked right there. I also recommend jacking the boxes, I recommend using other Tesla guns if you've got them, and using your special abilities, and using your grenades, and just anything that you can really use to survive here is probably a good shout. It's worth noting that in the morgue, it's much harder to defend compared to when you're in the laboratory area, so if you've done one in the labs first, that will make your life a lot easier because then you'll have an upgraded Tesla, and you'll be able to use it for this, which is a little bit more confined, and I mean, if you get like a flamethrower zombie down here, for example, it can get really difficult, so just be careful, and I'm sure you'll be fine. Once you complete it, the health bar will disappear, assuming it didn't die, in which case I guess the health bar will also disappear and you'll have to try this again, but once you're done, health bar will go, and after about 30 seconds, a new Tesla part will pop out of the machine that previously gave you a Tesla part as well for your original Tesla gun, and so you can bring it up the stairs, into the command room, up the stairs again, to the Tesla build station, voila, you can now craft the Reaper. Waffles here. This is going to be a guide for you to upgrade your Tesla gun into the current mode of the pink upgrade that's absolutely beastly in the final Reich. This is definitely one of the easier ones to upgrade, and I really do think at the end result it's worth the effort. So, to upgrade the Tesla gun, you obviously need the Tesla gun. If you don't know how to build it, I'll guide for it on my channel, on the bottom corner of the screen, or in the description, which you can click through to now. I'll give it a watch, and come back to the side when you've got your Tesla and are ready to get going. During the casual easter egg process, you'll at some point have to unlock the salt mine door and go down to the emperor's chamber. And on your way down, you'll encounter four bomb zombies with bombs on their backs. I'll hereafter refer to them as bombies. Try and keep one of the bombies alive and walk it to the laboratory area of the map. By doing this, we can save ourselves having to get a bomb zombie later in the game at like round 10, 12, something like that when the next one spawns in. Regardless though, bring a bombie to the laboratory area of the map and bring it up this set of stairs. You're going to blow the bombie up in front of a locker in the wall and inside you'll find a battery which you can grab and walk down to the center of the electric track where there's a hole in the wall. for this battery is actually really easy, but just as it comes to the place, place takes a little bit of time because Looks like a weapon assembly station or something. Essentially, you need multiple walking zombies with lots of their arms. I call them Big Bertha, some people call them Whistlers, and there are all sorts of names for them at this point. Whatever the weather, bring multiple club arms of zombies to the more into the in its little holder there, and while they're in there, you should see that the bottom of the battery holder will go green. That's the to find you to turn the trap on and kill Big Bertha, or the pair of Berthas, with the trap itself. Now, this won't necessarily work the first time. You may need to do this twice or even three times, so that's two or even three pairs of Berthas. So persevere, keep at it, and once you've killed probably your second pair of Berthas in the electric trap, and you can do it with three, by the way, it definitely is fine to do so, and I've done that plenty of times. I feel like it's sort of a bit easier for killing all your Berthas at once, because you don't want one stray Berthas to bonk you on the head and kill you, but I'm getting sidetracked. Kill the Berthas in the electric trap while the base of the battery holder is green, and once you've done it once or twice, you should notice that uh, the battery will be able to be picked up and you'll be able to start walking with it. Now, I have to stress here that in order to progress with the upgrade process, you're going to need to have completed the lightning rod defense process That's one. the casual Looks like there's fireworks another somewhere. 
you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a guide for you that I've made in the top right hand corner of the screen and the description down below, which you can click through to. It'll explain exactly how to get to the Lightning Rod Depot process. You've got to do that and then you'll be good to go because otherwise you can't okay. place the battery in its next location. Say right. You can also quite easily just put yeah. the in game hint. I think we can get through now. on the top left hand corner of the screen and open the logo, but the guide is the preferred option in my opinion. I mean, I'm biased, I made it. So, once you've done that step, you're going to bring the battery to the folder where you've previously got one of your test results in parts in a place where you can sell it, and you're going to place it in the right place. When you're ready to start the lockdown process, you can hold spell to the floor and unlock it in the lockdown. Regardless, hold square, a lockdown will begin, and you'll then need to defend the holder, defend the battery charger from the incoming masses of zombies. Now, to do this, pack a punch guns are really useful, so if you don't know how to do that, there's a link in the top right hand corner of the screen in the description, just like before, that I've made, and that'll walk you through that process. Also, I really recommend Jack in the Boxes. Also, even more so, I recommend other upgraded Tesla guns. If you've got any already in your game, use them because they're so damn good, and obviously, not used to Abilities and grenades as well are really effective for this. I love sticky grenades and they come in real handy. Once you've completed the process, the health bar will go away, but for about 30 seconds, just like previously when you got a Tesla part out of this machine here, you'll get a new Tesla part that you'll be able to bring into the command room and then up the flight of stairs to the Tesla build station that you previously used. Here. This is going to be a no-nonsense guide for you to upgrade the Tesla gun into the glove first in the final Reich. As far as the upgrades go, this isn't the easiest one, that's probably the midnight, but it's not too bad when the last one's out. So, to get started, you're going to need the Tesla gun. In the description and in the top right hand corner of the screen, which you can click through to, build the gun, and then come right back to this guide and you can get started on the upgrade process. Once you've acquired it, come over to this area of the map outside the courtyard and look up at this street light. You're going to want to shoot it, maybe once or twice, with the Tesla gun until it starts sparking. You should see a small sparking effect coming out of the light itself, and you're then going to want to shoot all of the lights that I'm going to shoot in this gameplay here, exactly as I do. So, it's this order and no other order, and you need to make sure that you're only shooting them once, because if you start shooting them multiple times, it's going to fail the step for you, and you'll need to start right back at the beginning at that first light once again. So, you've got something like 27 lights to shoot. It's a little difficult, and sometimes it doesn't work. You should hear an audio cue that you shoot a light, by the way, which sounds something like this. And so if you're not hearing that sound, and if you're losing track of the kind of green glow that you should see jumping from light to light as you progress, then you probably need to just start again. You don't need to go to a new round if you need to start again. You don't have any other kind of forfeit if you do fail. Just go back to that first light and start shooting from the beginning once more. I also think that you have to have all the doors open on your route in order to do this successfully. If you don't have all the doors open, see if there's a way you can find an angle whereby you don't have to open the door while you're doing the run, because that has failed it for me in the past. But anyhow, that should bring you towards the end of this, and once you get down into the morgue area of the map, which is where all these lights are leading us, you should see that the final light drops a battery out of the ceiling, and that battery can be placed in the very nearby little holder for it, which is then going to be charged up just like in the other upgrade processes by using and killing a certain type of zombie with the nearby trap. Now, this is probably the most fiddly part of the upgrade process, so don't worry if you try and do it once or twice and it doesn't work for you. It takes everyone a little while to get used to. What you've got to do is get yourself onto a pest round, so the pests are the zombies with flies all over them that run really fast and are really annoying. So get onto a pest round, it'll be a multiple of five, so round five, round 10, 15, 20, 25, etc. And hoard as many of them up as you can near the trap itself. The trap in this room is basically a spike needle trap. They come out of the floor in the middle of the room. It looks pretty fancy, but really the only thing that you care about is killing as many pests as you possibly can in one wave of spikes as close to that battery holder as you possibly can. Now this is why it's fiddling. The pests don't really work.
Run in a group like regular zombies do. They kind of will run in front of you if you run circles in that room. The pathing is just a little bit weird, and so don't expect to do this on round 15 and do it first time. It took me two or maybe three pest rounds to get it right, but get as many pests as you can, bring them into that room where the trap is, where the battery holder is, in fact, and bring them as close to the battery holder as you possibly can. And you should notice, by the way, that when they're near the battery holder, its base should go green, and that indicates that it's time for you to turn the trap on. Once you do that and you start killing the pests, you should see a big red arc of electricity go towards the battery holder, and once you've completed this and the battery is charged, A, you'll see that you'll no longer be getting that arcing electricity, and B, the battery will be ready for you to pick up and remove from the holder itself. Now then, for this next step, you need to have completed the lightning rod defense charged battery to the morgue, so other wave defense section of the upgrade process, hit square on it, it will Corpus here and continue this guide. Bring the Brenner head over to the courtyard area of the map and shine the purple light using L2 on this statue. It will break and inside you'll see that there's a battery that you can shoot with your Tesla gun to knock onto the floor. Once it's on the floor, grab it and place it in the battery holder that's just next to you. You're then going to want to get a horde of zombies, bring them all in a tight bunch if you possibly can, through the courtyard area and activate the trap when you do so. It should kill all the zombies there, be careful not to kill yourself, and once you've done that, the battery should be charged up and you'll be able to continue the steps. You're going to then want to bring the battery downstairs from the courtyard all the way to the laboratory area of the map. But, to progress with this step from here on, you need to have completed the lightning rod tower step down in the description and how to get there. Just follow the- Assuming you've completed the lightning rod step, you'll see that when you bring the battery from the courtyard down into the laboratory, there is an opening by the original the lightning rod step, you're potentially trying to get the jack-in-the-boxes out of the mist parts out of, just next to where you built the Tesla gun itself. Real green the Geistcraft transfer device can actually get up onto the ceiling, and then once you've turn the crank, you can go up to the weapon build station. There'll be a red button there that you can. Press, things will go dark and you'll have to charge up the Geistcraft transfer device by getting kills in the red area once again. It'll go down into one side of the map, so for example, it'll go towards the labs, follow it there and keep charging it as it goes, and then it'll stop at a machine and... Once you finish filling it with souls and you wait about 30 seconds, a Tesla part will pop out of that machine. And also, you might have a walking zombie spawn, which is really useful because you could, in theory, use that walker in combination with another walker to get some charge on your battery for your gun. So, you can to see that there are various things that you can use to your advantage to kind of make the process of doing the steps a little bit easier. Yes, definitely. I... Yeah, I, I yeah, definitely not. I watch the stream. So, how's World War Two zombies?
I, I I heard that audio. I did, yeah. Yeah, I think it's the same same guy, right? Yeah. That's it. I see. Yeah, <laughs> neither TF TF two neither. And that's another come out. <laughs> Oh my god! Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's definitely not gonna be bad. If that is, if that is good, I will keep my own. Keeps you. Dude, most of the time when it. with certain you gotta know like a little bit about the good from what I've heard about Suicide Squad it just sounds like it's not gonna be good like they're really championing it as like a live service game it's like it's gonna be a live service with a battle pass we really want to sell this live service and it's like I'm gonna throw up I've heard the word live service so many times um and the fact that it's being delayed so many times is like, I don't think they're going to fix the live service elements. And I don't think that they're going to improve on anything important. So, Yes. That is, that's a huge... That's, I'm sorry, buddy. That's, that's not. Dude, uh, who was right about Titan Call 3? Who was right? Raise your hand. Bro. Bro. That, that, that shit sailed long ago. I, I don't know. Nah, man, I, I'm not going to get my hopes up at all. I, I'm not going to. If it happens, and I don't I don't think it's going to happen, it'll be a nice surprise, but I'm not going to see it. I'm not going to see it. Good. Yo, uh, my boyfriend wants to call, so y'all have a good one. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Mm. Also, nice uh, to see you, Max. Bye bye. Good seeing you. Bye. Glad to see you back. <laughs> that jerk that crushes my hopes and dreams throughout every release. Bad to see you. Also, Stranger Things is back in, on lighter, lighter note, Stranger Things is back in Dead Rider. Yeah, that was cool. 
Um, I, I didn't either. I thought that was going to be like gone forever. So that was a nice surprise. I hope that uh, stays in the game. So that I can get it when I play that game again, which will probably not be in a while. Oh, yes, I heard about this. Uh, the people who made Wise of Kong are making a uh, Walking Dead game. Uh, game Mill. They make, they made, they also helped make the Nickelodeon All Star Brawl, partially. So, um, yeah, they've got a good track record. I heard that the All-Star Brawl 2 actually wasn't that bad, though. I heard that one was, is actually decent, which is like, yeah, you, you should have given the freaking studio the time of day they needed to make this, this decent version. But... Uh... Your, your mother! I, I know, I know. I'm just, he, he has, you are, you are said it already. Yeah, he said it already. <laughs> Does he know? <laughs> oh my god, I, sometimes when you look at like new releases for PlayStation, they'll have something really weird and funny. You've got Skibbity Toilet Ladder Race IO. Yeah. Golden Bones! I've heard some stuff about this. I've heard it's kind of going through a bad phase right now. Because Ubisoft is developing it, developing it, and all they care about is Assassin's Creed, so. Yeah. Yeah, Ubisoft is developing it. I mean. Good. I really hope the new the Return to Moria is a, a good game. It's out? What? What? Huh? Uh, uh, what have you heard about it? Uh, well, let me, I gotta look this up. Because I... I can feel the energy coming off this thing! I've not seen anything about it. Boy. Probably nobody bought it because of how bad uh, uh, Gollum flopped. I don't think I don't think it's out yet. I'm sure. Let me let me just double check. Oh, it's on Epic Games. I see. Epic Games, and then it comes out later on the other. I see. There's base build. Wait, this is a survival game. I see. I I see. That does seem interesting. <laughs> I just I just hope. Oh. Oh no. I scrolled down and I saw it has a 4 on IGN. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Dude, dude. No, here's the thing about IGN, man. They rate everything so high, like higher than it needs to be. They they give they gave freaking Vanguard uh, like 7 or 8 out. So what? What? You're gonna say something disgusting, aren't you? Vanguard multiplayer isn't that bad. Yeah, dude. Only one, a one one third of your whole game is good or decent. Not even good. Decent. Yeah, uh, except for those the. Uh, the, 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 the calling cards at the end, those are really bad. The, the, the like ending animations, like the play of the game animation. 
Those were memes to hell. Which? Oh God! I was thinking of the elf one for Christmas. It was so dumb. That one was so stupid. Oh my God! I really, I, I, I. Ooh. I, I see, like, no reviews about this game. It is upsetting. Uh, uh, Return to Moria. Ooh. He had a 50, it has a 59 on Metacritic. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It is such a cool, I, I, I guess we'll have to wait for the game to actually come out, like, have, like, really trustable sources like discuss it because I, I I don't know man uh, I don't know I really I just want a good Lord of the Rings game again man I, I love Lord of the Rings and, it, and it's just sad to see it be food on what else, what is the fun stuff that you have on the PlayStation store uh Hooligan Simulator. Hooligan. Hooligan Simulator. Ooh, I wonder what's simulator. down here. It's like a British version of Thief Simulator or whatever that's called. Hooligan Simulator. Yeah. But put it but for an yes. I have no clue. I have not played any of that. <gasps> oh my god, Among Us VR is coming to PlayStation VR. <laughs> but the golf I the balls. They are a game developer. Mark Flair has played a lot of their games. Um, there is one coming up called Christmas Massacre, where you play as Santa Claus with a big kitchen knife. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah, a big kitchen knife and you kill people. See, this seems that way. And there's a Christmas tree that is talking to you. And it's telling you more must die. So, I see. Are, are, you're not Santa, you're like somebody dressed up as Santa. He calls it Larry, so. <laughs> Maybe. I think you're like supposed to, like, you have to kill people to get dressed up. That, that's true. If I played Postal, I would kill at least one playthrough, though. That would be funny. Choo choo Charles! Holy crap! <clears throat> Insane! I know it's that. I know it's that. Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater. Oh. This must be what brought the Nazis here. The oxygen. It looks like the high middle age. This is all red. It seems to be the focus of the entire train. That isn't working. It's an engine that runs on death. I mean, they're just like actual, like, triple A titles, like, combined with the. Uh, 
stuff that don't work to the play. God help me. Spaceship Imposter VR? Spaceship Imposter. Like, why, why is that astronaut holding not a knife, an actual sword? Just a sword. True, but like, what? I, I, I see. It, it's like it's like realistic. Um, it's like Among Us, but like the astronauts look like real astronauts. And it's in VR, like Among Us VR. Spaceship imposter. Yeah. Huh. You know it should. But uh, the, the like subtitle for it is multiplayer deduction simulator among games. Among game. My favorite. <laughs> there we have strand type games and among games. Among games. I don't know why I'm saying it super slowly. Among games. The police. Police contraband simulator. Why does the font look like Red Dead Redemption? Oh, Thief Simulator 2024! Coming up the same time as Hooligan, Hooligan Simulator is going to be a big competitor. Oh, here's What the Golf. Coming out soon. That's interesting. It, on PlayStation. It's just come out. Okay. The new game. Uh, we got uh, UFL. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh my God! It's a free-to-play football video game. It's free-to-play. Its category is sport. Not sports. Sport. And it has, it has no images, it has one video. Let's watch this video. Insane. There's so many jerseys you can put on them. It is, you know how sometimes trailers will like cut between the different like arenas you can play in? There are literally two. So it just cuts between the same two over and over again. That, that video was 19 seconds long. I want this game. I, I gotta get. I, it's it's coming soon. I can't get it quite yet. There is this. Uh, sometime I'm gonna have to like look on here and find the worst game possible, and just like when one of you guys is over to like play it, have a have a good time. Oh my god, is this so? It's a home stuck game. Not home stuck. Wait, has this been? Has this been? Has this not come out? This was. It says 2019. Has this not come out for four years? Oh my God. Oh, Pac Man. Okay. Pac Man Mega Tunnel Battle. Chomp Champs. That is a very long title. That looks fun, though. You can give uh, Pac-Man the Elvis hair. The Elvis hair. That is a plus. You're like competing to see who can eat the most dots. That that might be. Fun. That, that I I would that I would. Play. 
dragons are invading Dave and Buster. <laughs> no. Now watch this drive. Fish. Insane. The game that only saves when you die. That's actually kind of an interesting concept. Huh. So you die. That actually might be kind of annoying, though. In practice. It says the game that only saves when you die. When you die, it saves the game. Yes. It's like, uh, you've got the masks on, there's a man in like a, um, uh, Japanese, um, in a maid outfit, what? Hotline hot Miami, Hotline Miami, Hotline Miami, Hotline Um, uh, there's a little Nightmares 3 coming out, I didn't know this. It's supposed to pop out, what? I still need to play the first one. It, it looks cool. I mean, I don't know how well the second one did. Second one? I remember I watched a playthrough of the first one. Oh, cool. I, I remember I played Inside. I was like, kind of unimpressed. But it was, yes, it was fun. Like, it wasn't bad. But it was just like, oh, okay. Yeah, it was like so many people had hyped it as like, this game makes you think about existential crises. And I'm like, think Mark, think. And I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not really thinking too hard. Now. Sponsor Fortnite. Fortnite yeah. is sponsored. Fortnite. Didn't it reach its like highest player count recently? Because of the classic event? Oh my god. Think, Mark. What kid that plays Fortnite watch? I swear to God, they are ruining all of all of the things I like. Yes, uh, my favorite my favorite part of the kid friendly show, uh, Invincible, when Omni Man goes up to that one pilot and gives him a nice pat on the back of the head. And, and he says, he says, uh, Mark, thank you for saving that, man. You did such a good job. And he says, thanks, Dad. You want to give me a hug? Mark, I love you so much. Um, he says, um... Bully! It's on sale! I have no interest. <laughs> um... For spoken, that that game no one plays. But whoever played it was like, oh, it sucks. And so everybody on the internet was like, oh yeah, it sucks. Um, for blood, that game that, 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 that for blood, that game that they abandoned. Uh, uh, yeah, they completely abandoned it. Uh, what was what was the name of the the recently rebooted Left 4 Dead uh, Turtle something? It was the same people who did Left 4 Dead made that game, or who worked with Valve to make that game. No, the people who worked with Valve to make that game. Uh, Turtle something. Uh, let's stay here. The turtle. A new. Oh, uh, and you know what? Everybody asked for in this. Uh, this. Um, Back for Blood uh, successor, Turtle Rock. Um, his Back for Blood, his, his Back for Blood successor. You know what everybody asked for? No, a card system. Everybody, they wanted a card system in their survival shooter. They gave it to him, and no one liked it. Uh, to have Ultimate Custom Night. Oh my god! Golden Gate. I don't even know how you 
beat some of the modes in Ultimate Custom Night on PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> How would you even play 5020? I don't, barely anyone could beat that in the first place. Have you seen that clip of that one guy beating him like crying? There's a VR version of Ultimate Custom? Fifteen. What? Yeah. Who? I asked. Who? Literally, who asked? Literally, that is just it. It, it was already like just a multitasking simulator. It just becomes that, but even worse. Ultra pain. I've been meaning to play this. It seems cool. Trep, trep, trepang, am I saying that right? The Yachty's in it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. The move, the move, means everything. No, he's not. Ever. The only thing he's ever been in is Ultra Cliff. No, yeah, the only thing he's ever been in. I don't, I don't know. Oh man, you're right. I don't know what I'm saying. I just, just get. Why is bad Battlefield Hardline close to the top of the bestseller? Huh? I, I, I know it's just such a random thing. Like, why not like Battlefield 1 or something like that? It's a more popular title. Cocoon? <laughs> um, <gasps> Avatar, The Last Airbender. Quest for Balance, game made by Gaming Mill. Remember Game Mill? Remember Game Mill, my favorite company that made Rise of Kong? It has it has 2.58 stars on PlayStation. On PlayStation, literally everybody is brain dead and writes everything five stars. That's bad. What is that? I heard nothing about the Hellboy game. It looks cool. I have a feeling that's kind of where it stops. I hope it's okay. I feel it looks. First of the dead gods. Oh. Door stuck! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Edition? Oh, it's, 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 it's more than just one. Oh, it's a lot of kicks. Oh yes, Street Fighter 1. What a good game. All of Street Fighter 1. It's very playable. Um, definitely the. <laughs> Dude, the specials though take like a third of your time to watch. What? Oh! I'm happy birthday, Miku! It's Miku! Oh my god, I care. I, I hate Miku. <laughs> this is a message to me. I hate Go to hell. Miku. I don't know. Red Dead Revolver! I don't know how, how that game is. I know it's it's like the precursor to Red Dead Redemption. It looks a little rough. That looks very rough, actually. Graphics have not aged gracefully. Hey, Yakuza 6? I didn't know they were 6. I didn't even know they go, went up. I know, I, I mean, like, I didn't know that he actually, like, went up to the number six. 
like they just started they stopped the numbered entrance and just started saying like like a dragon or the man with, without a name or whatever the name is like. Oh. oh Mori. Oh Mori. Oh Mori. Oh Mori. The only thing I know about it is the virtual meme that you sent. That's all I that's the only thing I need to know about it. No, nothing literally nothing else matters. It's funny seeing all the like horror games that everyone is buying and see how low rated they are. Oh, oh it is. Yes, yeah, most a lot of like RPG makers and the horror games for some reason. The the the, the gr Gray Hill incident. Uh, I have only seen it on PlayStation Store. I have never seen it on, like, Steam or anything. It is an alien game. No, it's not that one. It's not Check the Bathroom. It's, uh... All I see, one of the images it shows is a bunch of, like, generic looking aliens, and then a dude just has a gun. Like, it's first-person view. And there's just a guy with a revolver, and there's three like normal ass looking aliens. They're like we come in peace, and they're like, no. It has horrible reviews, and I'm probably going to have to play it at some point because it looks bad. It would, it would probably be very funny. <laughs> Did they ever? Yeah, it'll be funny. That's all that matters. They, they okay? Did they ever? Do you know if they ever finished Life is Strange too? Did they finish it? Yeah, you probably yeah. I, I didn't know either. So, I know that Life is Strange, like the first one, like there were so many people who were like, "This game is great. This game is amazing." And then everybody else was like, "I don't care." Exactly. Wait, this was published by Square Enix? What? Huh? Cool. Make this stream too. Oh, it's got good reviews. Oh, well, this game has got 9 out of 10. That's, cool. That's decent, I guess. Uh, I guess. Sometimes Steam reviews, like, they're either, like, amazing, like, oh my god, this game cured by cancer, or they're like, this game is the worst thing ever made. But, th that should have been on TF2. Yeah, teleporting Brett. I teleported Brett. Told me to. I have done nothing but teleport Brett for three days. What he's on about. He knows that he gets to teleport that bread. The, the, the bread mail grind set. Yeah. The bread the bread mail. one of those companies where you're like oh yeah the final fantasy people and then you're like oh wait they publish other things um yeah they publish forespoken oh amnesia amnesia i need to play the first game. I heard it is good i heard it is a good game i heard it is a game where you hide in closets from from big scary um, This the, what, you can have a gun in Amnesia the Bunker. You have a gun. What? Oh. 
It's like a last resort. Oh, man, dude, do, do you do you know how do you know how cool it would be to shoot those things? Dude, that's why I like this so much because you can just oh, it's like oh no, that's spooky, and then you just shoot it in the head, and then it's cool. I love it. And then I love Five Nights at Freddy's because you can just see it in the doorway and be like, <laughs> and close the door. And then uh, you you see you see Foxy being an idiot running down the hall. And you're like, and you close the door. And then you yeah you, yeah and then you die. You, you try to turn on the lights and on the right doorway, and then they don't turn on. And you're like, oh no, <laughs> For Freddy, it's Freddy. Oh my god, it's green hell. I have no idea what that game is. Oh. I see. Looks like it reminds me of a uh, little like reminds me of a green. Oh, uh, the fourth game. Yeah. Wait. What's the difference? Also, is Green Hell like, is there anything like supernatural going on in that game at all, or is it just like forest? Let's see, because I know in the forest, there are like cannibals, and you gotta kill the cannibals, which sounds more enticing to me. I wanna, I wanna shoot it. Um, Layers of Fear is like one of those games that I've heard a lot about, but like, I hear I hear people say it's so it's it's good. And then I've never like seen a gameplay of it or anything. Have I? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The the child. Well, Oh my god, it's Knack. Knack is back. Holy crap. It's Knack. I can't believe it. Um, the funny game do we, do we have here? Um, insane, uh, insane games. Uh, that's actually kind of interesting. I want to just make the cover art look cool and then the, the, the gameplay looks very dark. Make it buy it. Get the game. Human Anatomy VR. Like, is that like a teaching tool? The spin on there. The spin eye bone can be found on the part posterior of the ethmoidal. Okay. The angle sphinx. Oh my god, the Lego Ninjago movie video game. A game that everyone thought. I don't know, but it, I I just heard nothing. I never heard anything about it. <laughs> Let's sing Abba. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's Abba. Heavy rain. 
<laughs> I remember, I remember, I told you about Heavy Rain like a while ago, and you were like, what's that? And I was like, you know, the one with Rex? And you were like, what? And I was like, oh, dang it, and now, you know, they're very happy. It might have been Jack. Great fun! Jason! Jason! Press X to Jason. What did I do? Why am I not playing uh, Spider Man? Um, uh, let me find one more funny game and then. Deceive yeah. Ink! Hurt. Hurt. Yeah, I I saw gameplay of it and like the visuals that I was kind of, but it's probably fine. Split gate. Insane. Insane. What a good game. Amnesia the collection. Dude, do you remember that main menu, menu music? So iconic. Dude, more iconic than Halo's main menu music. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> the, there's just a game called The Hong Kong Massacre and it looks gross. Um, I, I, that's what I thought it was at first, too. No, yeah, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, is this just the Jigsaw Lick Collection? It is. Oh my. Why wouldn't you just get a real Jigsaw puzzle? I get it's like, I don't want to buy, like... Thirteen pile. Thirteen pound pile. What we need to do is tell you to start eating. Just stop eating them. I haven't explained the crap. I think it's not beans. It's peas. I think he just starts eating them. Bro, when can a good like Lovecraft game adapt adaptation come up? In every single one that has come out, this game. I, 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 I saw like the, the game for his, uh, novels, The Sinking City, which I haven't read. I heard most of the, a good portion of his stuff, but um, it's like why, why, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Cactus Cowboy? Desert Warfare? Insane, he looks like Larry the Cucumber. Are you good? Okay, let's go check that chamber. Maybe the artifact has come free and we can get the hell out of here. I see. I see.
god, a rabbit's game? Insane. Absolutely nuts. You definitely can make like 500 plays in like the course of like 5 years. Keep him alive, Scotty. Keep him alive. Stay alive. Carefully. Yeah, I have. I like the <laughs> you didn't keep up 100 beats per minute, so you lost him. So you lost him. Uh, what do we do now? Uh, check if he has an organ donor card. <laughs> we only have minutes to harvest. Just draw full two. Ten dog. Is there like something I'm missing? Draw full two is ten dollars, probably. Yeah, it's just I'm just surprised it would be like ten dog. It's like not half that at all. I don't doubt it's fun, it's just surprising. It's just surprises. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, uh! Alright, that's it. I'm playing Spider Man 2 to fight you. Um, he's playing a good game. Oh. Which are you voting for? Game yeah, Awards? You need to vote. Which one do you think you'll vote? Not the ones you've seen. Yes. The battery stealer in the description and in the top right hand oh. corner of the screen, which you can click through to build the gun and then come right back to this guide and you can get started on the upgrade process. Once you've acquired it, come over to this area of the map outside the courtyard and look up at this I street found a, a, a prowler stash with the Tesla gun until it's insane. Sparking. You should see a small sparking effect coming out of the light itself, and you're then going to want to shoot all of the lights that I.
I'm going to shoot in this game player here exactly as I do. So Zane, I figured it out. The like puzzle that a five-year-old fits off. I figured it out. I know, I know. No other order. Don't need to direct me, game. Because if you start shooting multiple times, it's gonna fail the step for you, and you'll need to start right back at the beginning at that first light once again. So you've got something like 27 lights to shoot. It's a little difficult, and sometimes it doesn't work. You've got something like 27 lights to shoot. Oh, hi, hi. It's a little difficult, and sometimes it doesn't work. You should hear an audio cue each time you shoot a light, by the way. It sounds... Something like this. So if you're not hearing that sound, and if you're losing track of the kind of green glow that you should see if you're jumping from light to light as you progress, then you probably need to just start again. You don't need to go to a new round if you need to start again. If you don't have any other kind of forfeit, if you do fail, just go back to that first light and start shooting from the beginning once more. I also think Is that, that a bomb? you have to have all the doors open on your route in order to do this successfully. If you don't have all the doors open, see if you can find it. you get down into the broad area of the map, because where all these lights are leaving us, you should see that the final light drops from the battery out in the ceiling. And that battery can be placed in the very nearby to hold up here. Let me dodge under you. Oh my god, that killed me. That's what I get for playing on the hardest difficulty. Because I'm such a. The zombies is hard? I can't believe it. Zombies is difficult.
or my favorite part about the Spider-Man games is that, at least the recent ones, is that all the side missions are like, you find a guy who lost all his pigeons, so you have to find all of his pigeons. And then this one's like, this one I'm doing right now is like, you found these guys who, are, who bought shady fireworks. You gotta, you gotta stop the people who sent them. You have to literally kill them. Yes. I can stop. Yes. like a horror trying to be a, a spooky <laughs> Let's see. at least they're trying though that's a cool direction trying something different yeah I guess zombies kind of always been like a horror type that we haven't really gotten like all in before. Before that, I guess. Kinda, it's kinda spooky, I guess. Are there like, is there pack a punch in? I see. And then there were there any perks? There were probably not perks or anything. I see. Missing from these uh, stealth sections is the thugs. Go is the thugs going? It's the best. I didn't need to throw that. Y'all is grammatically incorrect. You have to say you all. If you, yes, you do. That's I just say it. Huh? I know you are a good man, a child. I guess pregnant. Um, child. I'm I'm, t I'm talking to Miles, not you.
You are tired. Your life, your life is as valuable as a summer anthem. Is that a bomb? <laughs> oh, the syrup. I'm not gonna say the next line. <laughs> Crime afoot. It functions well. I have a feeling you're being ironic. And just like gut suspicion. The big ones can move. The big ones can move. Oh my god. Oh, what the hell? What? Got a, a, a last stand moment from, from, from the Shadow of War? What? Oh god, that, that truck is going to explode. Why you would want to fast travel in this game, though? Because mobility is like a major part of it. Oh, I know they're very quiet, they're very bad. Yeah, but I just I don't know. I like I like swinging around. It's fun. I mean, they kind of have to make it instead because you can get places so fast in this game. Yeah. I'm, I'm not even doing the story, I'm just swinging around. I gotta find another prowler stash. Did Miles just curse? He said, heck. I mean, he said, heck. I believe it's Oh no. Spooky? You got spooked? Oh man, you got spooked. Oh, 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 over the... I see. Nice. As usual. Ah, oh, man, one viewer, you have been in for a trip. I was... <laughs> I am the viewer. Skylar. Oh. Yeah. I love it. 
I'm excited for when to do a video on zombies when it comes out. I hope it comes out. Have you seen his uh, most recent video about uh, about the lock? Very good. And, and then he also talks about like a really bad. I think it's called the painter. Uh, he about, uh, the painter. He talks about that a little bit, but uh, good, good because it's bad. What I heard. I think I can run and get all these like at once. Oh god, it's going to be really nice. Okay, how about that? Tell them to bring out the whole ocean. Oh no, a cur- a cur- a creamy. It's a creamy. Oh. It's a crime. A creamy. Television. Where is this fourth freaking- <laughs> What? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Walter. Where's the mug, Walter? The champion, you champion. <laughs> Give me the mug, Walter. Go on. I am the one who feeds the virtual dogs. Damn it, navigation systems, Walter. <laughs> I want to pop The big ones can move. Oh. Sorry, the big ones you, can move. But I'm not going to stop being beaten. Oh, come on. There we go. Ooh. The Brawler Tech. My God. Now that I know that you don't have a viewer, it could be as not a viewer as I can That's the sound like, oh, you can go ahead and me. who are burning things. I see. Yes. Oh, God. These people do a lot of damage. They also introduced a parrying system into this game. I don't, I don't, I don't know why, but it works. Duh. Oh, I forgot Spider-Man doesn't kill people, uh, uh, go to prison. I don't know.
Oh, I didn't hit people. Oh, I should have hit him with four balls. What do I got? Oh, oh, I see. Do you, uh, have you played uh, multiplayer yet for that game? One more should do it. Huh. I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is, it is a World War II. It's the last World War II video game. Oh, I see. Have you, have you heard of the they're building a bridge meme? Yes. The enemy is building a bridge. The bridge is being built. <laughs> I think so. Good. Good. <laughs> the enemy is <laughs> stop the enemy from building that bridge. They're building a bridge. <laughs> the bridge is being built. The one thing that really weirded me out about that game, well, there were a lot of things that kind of weirded me out, but uh, the main thing was that there were only like the Germans and the, the Americans. Like that is like. If for a world war, you only pick two. Yeah, I know. Stop. Dude, I want to go back to World at War with the racial stereotypes. <laughs> Remember in uh, in World at War, they were they were very racist. <laughs> Right, Twitch. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. It looks like I need to charge it to trigger the release. It was like it was like the Japanese announcer was very. Uh... How do I put this? Dude, the USSR anthem is just like a part of their history. This is like. I don't know, it is the Japanese specifically were like I don't know how to say it without getting too bad. Um oh. oh. It looks like I need to charge it to trigger the release. Thank God it's millions murdering. Do the windows break? <laughs> is that? It's him.
Are they selling what I think they're selling? A better access room. You've got BAC. We've got your back. No, they're, they're selling a... Uh, reproductive uh, things. I think they're... They might sell... They're very vague about it, but I think they're selling like on a high school campus, so like, be safe about the sex. Taking <laughs> your kids. No! Alright, the vision is art club. The two enemies seem to be fighting, but nothing is happening. Vision. Oh, where are you, Goki? It's Kiki! Oh my god! Miles is like. Wait, what? From like the first group? Like, well, how many characters are even in that? I've never heard of this person. Um, street Fighter. Game. Gandhi? Who? Jackie. Jackie, I see. Jackie. Oh, he's like a ninja. Oh, I see. I see. I do, I do, I do know her. I do know her. Me? Gaga. Right, let's see. Uh, Genki, Genki is like Miles' best friend. He's a super. He's like he was like uh, who they heavily based um, Ned off of for um, what for. Not Spider Verse, but uh, they based uh, Ned off of for um, from the for the Homecoming movies. What? I see. Play all the side missions in Morales, so I'm not completely sure on the story with these side characters. It's working. This is some sort of code. Vault? You can't. You are Spider-Man. You cannot vault a chain chain link fence. I see. How am I? Why is it allowing? I see. I can. Place, so that's really useful to have and once it's dead you'll also be able in your game because i got red blue green red that's yeah, what i've said
As soon as you've shone the Brenner lights on that suit. safe, run towards the left. Make sure there is a Brenner head nearby. That, again. What's going to happen here is a new power switch will become available just next to the salt mine entrance. And this oh. power switch, when switched, will open a new door in there that has a set of coils behind it. Once those coils are exposed, get your Tesla gun ready. But before you shoot anything, make sure there is a Brenner head nearby, okay? Then shoot the Another stealth head, section, grab yes! The Brenner head, and this is like one of the few games where when I get to a stealth section, I'm like... That a new yeah. door has opened up with like that, some Arkham. Kind of safe behind or like, it. yes! What you're gonna want to do is shine yeah. the Brenner light on Another the game, safe it's like... itself. Then, as soon as you shine the light on the safe, run towards the labs, and yeah. again, on the side, you should see that what there's if they, a new like, safe that's tried to make up, a stealth section and, like, doing or something like that? Both those safes a good shine in, you How would Doom Guy be sneaky? And you'll see that there's a little keypad at the bottom that... How would he, would he just... You can change the numbers of... Shoot his guns very quietly? ...until it comes up with whatever number has a blue oh. fingerprint on it. In other words, rotate all of the numbers until you have a line of blue fingerprints. For both safes, when you get a full line of blue fingerprints, you'll see that the safe opens and a small part of a coin can be picked up from the back. Once you've got... and then note down that four number while you're doing work straight away or very quickly at all. This can take... so do you're gonna get overwhelmed? I need to charge it up somehow with zombie souls and to do so with hit detection can be a little wonky but give them it with some kind of bullet based gun and you should, is look in the exact direction that the weather vane is pointing and somewhere in that This is for the VOD. This is for the VOD. VOD, we, we gotta, we gotta say bye to the... What? Has it been... No way. I didn't, I, I, I didn't hear you while I was watching your stream. I just assumed you were silent. It took me two hours to realize that my mic was off. Oh, no. Two hours. I, I'm sorry. I would have mentioned something, but I just... Oh, when, no, it's when fine. I got in the call, when this I got in the call, you were, completely you were completely quiet, so I was like, oh, he must have not been saying anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, that would make sense, but, uh, wow. I mean, I was literally just saying, yeah, I'm kind of tired. I think I'm going to be done for tonight. And then I look over and I'm like, wait a minute. My mic isn't picking up. Uh-oh. <laughs> no commentary. Long play. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Two hours. Oh, my word. Okay, well, um, I think that's just a sign. You guys have a good night. Yeah. I was the, I was the you commentator that whole time. You're saying you guys, and it's just me. The you guys. Yeah. VOD watchers. VOD watchers. All, like, zero of you. Cause... VOD watchers. Yeah. Actually, have a great on. one. Let me, let me check real quick. How much, uh... How are, how are my videos doing? Let's see. Zero views. Zero views. One view. Three. Three. Zero. One. Zero. 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 One. One. Zero. One. Three. One. Four. Zero. Zero. One. Zero. Five. <laughs> zero. Zero. Four. Zero. 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 Three. Zero. Two. Dude, you are not giving yourself enough credit. What do you mean? Not uh, you are a pioneer. You are a pioneer. Hey, you watch in, my in videos then. Streamer. I watch. Yes, I watch. I I'm here right now. I'm I'm. No no no! Watch the mods. Go watch all the mods. I got yeah. I gotta watch all the mods, especially <laughs> the one where Caleb gets blown up. Caleb. Oh right, that was so funny. 
Okay, <laughs> well, uh, Caleb gets blown up by a tank. On that bombshell, I think that's. I think it's All time right. to end it. Bye bye. Uh, right.